Hey, what's up YouTube? 12 Virus here with another figure review and this time I will be reviewing the Jax Dragon Ball GT Super Saiyan Trunks. Um, so that's always fun. He's pretty neat, um, but not really my favorite. Well, I don't know. He's, he's pretty great. Pretty great uh, version of Trunks. Probably the best version of trunks ever <laughs> no not really i do like gt but he's definitely not my favorite version of trunks but anyways here he is um wait are you sure you're trunks yeah man I i'm trunks me and pan and goku go on awesome adventures and we collect dragon balls with my invention giru see my vest mm, i don't think you are Ha ha! Dark Magician of Chaos, here to steal the show. Wait, aren't you Trunks? No man, I'm, I'm just interrupting your videos. I, I'm totally Dark Magician of Chaos. Attack! Wait, dude, you need to get rid of the staff and get your best back. Oh man. Oh, I guess playtime's over, Trunks. Have fun in your review. And this is the awkward moment where, there we go, the vest didn't want to come off. Okay, let go. Thank you. Alright, pop it back on trunks. Bada bang, bada boom. There we go. All in all, he's a decent figure. There's his face. He's definitely a decent figure. I like the sculpt for the hair. It's unique and different. It's almost like the sculpt for Kid Trunks' Super Saiyan hair that uh, I believe is Erwin made. And then Jax made their own version of it, which was pretty similar also, except for the bangs. So it's pretty similar to that. Which I really like it. It's a lot different than the usual. Um, but yeah, like I said, he's not entirely my favorite version. Probably like my least favorite because he's not as cool. Well, probably Kid Trunks and then this Trunks. But Kid Trunks, I don't know, is also better because you saw Gotenk. So, I don't know. It's a tough call. But, yeah, the details they got... Pretty good, like on the socks and on the feet and then the scarf, and the scarf is a really soft rubber, so it's flexible. Same with the jacket, except for the sleeves, of course, are plastic, so that way, you know, don't have it falling off of him and doesn't hinder the articulation. But anyways, let's jump into the articulation. Up that much, down that much, so not really much of a difference there. And then it can rotate around all the way. There we go. It can go all the way. It's kind of stiff at first, so it's kind of worried about. But arms can go up this much. Down. Rotate completely. Bend at elbow for that much, which is not much at all. Bend back that much. So very limited right there on the elbow. And then, of course... There's rotation at the wrist. Kind of hard to show. Because his hand seems super tiny. But they like to do that with the GT line. Make the heads like super big. And then the body not as big. And then the hands like kind of small. But the other ones did it okay. And looked good. Just. Some did not, and Trunks is kind of one of them. I mean, it is a pretty solid figure, but that's kind of aggravating me now that I'm seeing that. It kind of like goes in and then down here, it like kind of shoots out, which is an odd shape for him to have. But anyways, his waist rotation completely all the way around, then kick out that much back that much then he has a bend at the knee a little bit for that much you can see the joint 
up in there. Then it can also go forward that much. Then he has a hinge right there. And then rotation right there. And then rotation at the legs right there. So pretty good on articulation. Just look wise, eh. Just kind of eh. <laughs> But for some height comparisons, here he is with the Dragon Stars, Super Saiyan God Goku, and then the SH Figure Arts, Super Saiyan God Goku. Kind of do a French friend. There we go. So. Pretty good on height. Show back the Dragon Stars. Dragon Stars is gonna fall. There we go. So they did quite good with his height. Pretty accurate. Works pretty well with the other ones, the other figures. But then again, you can't really judge with Goku because Goku was a kid at the time, so it's kind of hard to judge. But in my opinion, it looks okay with the regular Goku, Dragon Stars, and SH Figure Arts. And then we have the Jax Vegeta, which doesn't really scale all that great. Kind of seems like, I don't know, I feel like maybe they scale decently. I'm not sure, because maybe Vegeta would be that short compared to Trunks, but at the same time, I feel like GT Vegeta would actually be taller than Trunks. I'm not sure. They're about the same height. But anyways, get rid of that. And yeah, Trunks really has a big head, especially compared to Vegeta, because he's more proportioned better. But off the subject... Time for the measuring portion. And the top of the forehead is about 5 inches. Top of the highest point of the hair is about... I want to say... About 6 inches. Or 5 and 7 eighths. And then shoulder to shoulder is... About... An inch and 3 quarters. So pretty decent, pretty good size. Anyways guys, I appreciate you all watching, appreciate all the support. This has been 12 Virus, signing out.